It's likely 90-year-old Ed Dwight's feet still haven't touched the ground even after his commercial space flight landed back on Earth Sunday. I thought I really did need this in my life, <laughs> but now I need it in my life. <laughs> Dwight was among the crew of six launched into space on Blue Origin's autonomous suborbital rocket system. The rocket reached 347,000 feet, the 11-minute flight, enough to finally make Dwight an astronaut. I was going to be the first black astronaut. I completed astronaut training. A U.S. Air Force captain, Dwight was recommended for the NASA Astronaut Corps in 1963, but wasn't selected. So he left the service, citing racial politics, and went on to become a celebrated sculptor. The goal of reaching space abandoned until now. For self-satisfaction, yes, but more importantly, to satisfy all the wonderful people that have showered me with love. Ed Dwight's call sign yesterday was justice. And when he landed uh, and he called in that he was doing all right, he said, uh, this is call sign justice and justice is served. Dwight also set a new record for the oldest person to ever reach space. Oh, wow. The previous record holder, Canadian actor and sci-fi icon William Shatner, was nearly two months younger when he took the trip more than two years ago. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Blue Origin doesn't publish its pricing, but word is tickets run upwards of a quarter of a million dollars U.S. American nonprofit Space for Humanity, which advocates for access to space for all, pitched in for Dwight's seat, knowing it would make an impact. We need folks to be inspired and believe that they can make it, just like I did yesterday. After he landed, Dwight called the experience life-changing. The dream once pushed aside, fulfilled 60 years later. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.